All right, this video has been a long time coming. My previous video with the tactical headset to civilian radio, this is the same setup. I have the Disco 32 BNC to SMA adapter. Uh, this one's slightly different than what I showed. Uh, I'll go over that in a follow-up video. Baofeng A58 and the SkyEye tactical push to talk. I'm not gonna put a headset on this for this video for the reason that SkyEye has told me that even if something is not plugged into this, that this should still retain its water tightness. It's a nasty, cold, rainy January day here in South Texas. So you could see it's on. I just got it on the NOAA receiving channels. And uh, it is actually getting a little bit of like teeny tiny bits of hail out here. And you can see it's raining hard. So here goes the start of the test. The watch is showing almost 11.30 a.m., 37 degrees. We're gonna throw it right out in the driveway. Ugly day. Wow, uh, there's hail falling on it right now. You can see some of the hail building up on the concrete. Been beating it for a couple minutes. All right, after I stopped recording before, I set a timer on my watch for 45 minutes. Still on, still showing that it's getting service. Let's do let's bang it up a little bit more. Drag it around. Send it right in the puddle there. We'll put it back in the puddle. Rinse it off. Sorry, this isn't the best recording. I don't want to be setting stuff up out here in the hail and everything that's going on, but it seems to be rinsed off pretty well. So we're gonna go right inside without me stopping the video. And I have the headset that comes with the kit I originally talked about from SkyEye. Volume, turn it all the way up. So, you can still hear it going through. Let me see about transmit here. Bear with me while I change channels. Radio check over. Yeah, it's working. Cool. Let me get myself a little more squared away here. Just wanted to rinse off all the sand and stuff like that on there and actually be a little test for the headset, but I know that those are pretty robust. All right, rinse the sand off, and I'm curious to look and see. We'll just put the headset off to the side over here. Not sure how great the camera is going to get in there, but definitely got wet in the contacts. Got wet in the antenna side of it. I, I knew that this wasn't a waterproof connection though. But what I'm curious to see is under here. I did have this slightly tighter than hand tight, but it's not very tight, just enough. Cause you don't want to over tighten it. The threads are only brass, so it'd be easy to strip them. Uh, there is moisture underneath here, but I guess as long as the pins still have contact, that means it'll work. And then the other thing I was curious about is uh, intrusion underneath the battery because that's just asking for a short wanted to test one thing before opening it up i want to see if it'll charge yep shows that it's charging it does show i'm seeing some moisture under here but i don't know if that actually just happened as i was open it and it got in there it looks like the way that this really seals up anyway is with that gasket. You can see that there was moisture up to that point, but I don't see anything wet on either one of the contacts. Still turns back on. I was able to hear it. There's a little bit of water in the speaker, which is making it real quiet. Channel mode. 
getting louder. So get Channel mode. Distorts the audio a little bit, but any speaker that gets wet is like that. This is also the same exact radio and push to talk that I've had on my kit for a year. So it's gotten the regular banging around, crawling on the ground, uh, rifle hitting it, uh, it being thrown in and out of my, my gear, uh, sitting in my vehicle in the South Texas summer, getting up to like 130, 140 degrees probably inside my cab and uh, normal wear and tear of just using it, hooking it up, programming it a lot of times. The only minor issue that I've noticed every once in a while when I plug my headset in, I would have like no audio or like a really messed up transmit. And what I would need to do was put, put it in and then twist it a little bit and then it would be fine. I think all that was was possibly some grit buildup on the end of one of the connectors or something like that, you know, slime, sort of like the military radios with the the handsets and headsets that you push on and twist, you know, we, we used to always say lick it and stick it. So uh, it kind of cleans off a little bit of grit. Maybe I'll just get into the habit of doing that, wiping my fingers off. And uh, I'll report back on my follow-up video that I'm going to make with this communications headset because I have changed some other minor things on my gear with the setup to even improve it better than what I'd put in the previous video. But hopefully that shows you that it's, it's worth paying the extra money and going with this gear to make it more resistant to the elements. Here you have it. Hopefully that answers some questions for you.